I'd like to introduce the so next speaker. Uh, Mr. Chua is the uh, uh, CEO of the Malaysia Venture Companies. Uh, we asked the so, you know, administration of the so this uh, Kura pilot plant. Um, maybe so you can see the uh, uh, yeah. This uh, process, a uh, complex process uh, from the uh, introduce, introduced the, uh, from uh, Mr. Yamashita. Uh, but uh, so, you know, uh, he will show you uh, about the uh, so, you know, uh, video. Uh, then, so maybe so you can get uh, so some uh, image about the Kura uh, uh, Pilot Front. So, please, uh, Mr. Chua. Uh, so started, so your presentation. Can you share that so you, know, you are right? Uh, yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I'm Chua from Aptara Siniambaha. So uh, I think eh, this uh, slide is not for me. Yeah, okay, anyway, uh, I would like to introduce uh, our company, yeah. We are in the Satrap Kurang Pilot Plant, uh, taking care of the facility and uh, manage the R and D project uh, at the Chosa, moment. Chosa, Chosa. So you can you can you share by yourself? Oh, okay, uh, I try to yeah. share from my screen. Yeah, yeah. okay. If you want, we can share. It's up to you. Mm. Okay. We have your slide. Uh, I can share, or you are going to share. Uh, I'm going to share my oh, own. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Yes, I'm you click on the uh, share uh, screen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then just make it full screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now clear to us. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce uh, to you that uh, uh, we are in the uh, OPT. Uh, business uh, via Optera Sendian uh, This This pilot plan uh, uh, was established in uh, 2014 as a result of a collaboration between the IHI Corporation, uh, Japan International uh, Research Center for Agriculture Science, and uh, University, University Science Malaysia. And uh, yeah. We previously we are called uh, Kamset and Viral, and now we are OPT uh, Optera Sanyambahat. We are carrying out the R&D on the basically we are carrying out on the R&D on uh, biogas generation from uh, oil palm trunk juice and a uh, pellet fuel from the OPT fiber. During 2014, excuse me. Uh, sorry. Okay, during 2014, uh, to 2018, we have uh, run through many steps to turn the OPT sharp into biogas by using the IHI uh, internal circulation reactor. And uh, at the same time, we also uh, have spent many times to make uh, the fiber into a higher quality OPT pellet. Our R&D for this uh, collaboration was uh, completed in 2017 with a very successful uh, result. And uh, in 2019, uh, this facility it has later used as a Satrap pilot plant to continue further uh, research. Satrap have uh, bought in uh, many uh, new equipment like uh, MBR, uh, the membrane uh, bioreactor, and the RO, the reverse homosis uh, system, uh, to further up. Uh, this uh, purpose is to further uh, dig up the value of the wastewater that uh, from the previous uh, process. 
At the same time, the MBL and the RO system also uh, use as a concentrate uh, equipment to uh, concentrate the sugar content uh, inside the uh, juice and uh, for maybe it's uh, easier for transportation and uh, others uh, purpose. In another aspect, uh, Satel have also bring in an extruder machine, uh, which was uh, shown by uh, uh, Mr. Yamasasa just now, uh, for fiber preparation to uh, treat the EFB, uh, mesocarp fiber, and the uh, oil pump fronts. With this new facility, we are able to process uh, almost all uh, oil pump biomass and uh, sub into uh, valuable uh, products. For the past uh, two years, uh, even, even though uh, we are in the treatment of uh, COVID-19, we are uh, managed to uh, finish uh, many R&D jobs in this uh, pilot plant. Therefore, we have a, uh, we are actually, we, uh, this pilot plant is uh, used as a R&D uh, facility. And uh, we also have a uh, consulting, uh, consulting uh, function. And uh, we also uh, do some uh, sample supply to institutions and uh, some uh, industry. Uh, after after this uh, uh, two years of uh, almost two years of experiment in this uh, Satra project, we are managed to have uh, one uh, derivation from uh, Satra effort to. Uh, which was uh, created uh, or maybe the result of the, this uh, crumb pilot plant. The, first, okay, uh, the, uh, the effort is to, we are able to, uh, and uh, we have a job uh, to upgrade a facility at the Sarawak uh, in, uh, to upgrade a, uh, EFB plant into a higher graded EFB pellet manufacturing by using the result from this uh, Satrap project. Uh, for the sample surprise, uh, actually we are able to surprise uh, oil pump biomass uh, in terms of uh, raw chips, in terms of fiber, or in terms of uh, pellet of all kinds. And uh, we are also able to surprise uh, sub uh, in terms of a uh, pure OPT sub or in terms of a uh, process uh, OPT sub and uh, in terms of uh, potential uh, potassium rich uh, water or sugar rich uh, juice. So uh, during this uh, experiment, we also have found that uh, we are able to produce uh, animal feed or fish feed from this uh, OPT fiber. And we are also uh, able to uh, produce uh, this uh, soil condition and soil improvement or fertilizer from this oil pump uh, biomass, uh, this uh, fiber. Yeah. I think, uh, okay. Uh, just now, Mr. Yamasasan have uh, uh, described the process of this uh, product plant in uh, very details, and uh, now I'm going to show you the actual uh, video that we have uh, done uh, during the yeah, last two years. I'm going to show, uh, share this uh, video to you and I'm doing some uh, description for this one. Okay, can, can anyone see the video? Clearly? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, actually, for this uh, plant, we only have a small uh, chipper. That's why we have to break the OPT into half 
in order to fit inside the uh, chipper. So this chipper is uh, actually crushing the OBT and uh, make it into a smaller chip. So the chip is uh, then go through a screen to filter out the bigger uh, block of the, the uh, uh, biomass or maybe the OPT. Uh, then uh, because uh, this uh, bigger block will uh, have uh, some problem when we do further uh, process. The chip is then transferred to a constant uh, feeder. The constant feeder act as a control that uh, we can uh, manage the amounts of uh, the chip to go into the next station. So the blue colors uh, hopper is the constant feeders uh, system. So the constant feeder will uh, fit the desired amount of uh, oil pump chip inside the dipping system. This uh, continue uh, dipping system is uh, to wash the chip and uh, to separate the contamination and the mineral or maybe the sugar content of the, uh, the chip. And uh, we have a green uh, OBT chip uh, come out from the end from the end of the dipping system. The dipping uh, the the fiber is then transferred to one another uh, constant feeder. Okay, this is a system that uh, we are circulating the water from uh, inside the dipping system. We are constantly washing and uh, making the water run from this uh, system. The wash uh, OPT chip then go inside. Uh, we are transferring inside to a wet mirroring machine. This wet mirroring machine is uh, to uh, further wash the chip and uh, further grinding the fiber into a smaller fiber. Uh, after washing, uh, this is uh, we call a squeezer. We are we are squeezing out the water, the excess water from the fiber, and uh, we are separating the water and the fiber into two different uh, output. The press, uh, the press, OPT chip is uh, about in the middle of uh, about contain about. 50% of the moisture content. And uh, after press, uh, the chip is then transferred to another station uh, before drying. This is a dryer. Uh, we are using our own uh, pallet uh, to, uh, as a heat and uh, we are drying through this uh, drum dryer. We are constantly checking the MC of the dry fiber to make sure that the dry fiber is uh, in a consistent uh, moisture content. The dry chip is then transferred to another hopper before the palletizer. The dry fiber is then transferred to this uh, palletizer and uh, we are pressing out the pellet uh, into pellet uh, by using this palletizer. So this is the outcome from this uh, OPT uh, process. The wastewater is uh, just now from the squeezer, the wastewater is transferred to this uh, concrete pond. Then we are using this uh, screen uh, filter to uh, separate the suspended solids and juice 
before we can treat the juice inside the IC detector. This is the wastewater treatment. It's the last part of the wastewater before we discharge the wastewater into the drain. Uh, uh, after this uh, wastewater treatment, the BOD and the theory is uh, almost uh, at uh, below 20 ppm. So uh, the juice uh, we process is uh, put into this uh, bubble tank to control the temperature and the, the SS, and we transfer this into the two tower. This is an internal circulation uh, reactor supplied by IHI. So now from the MSFP, the wastewater, we are further, we, we do not uh, drain it to the drain and we further uh, use it uh, to uh, extract the, the, to concentrate the wastewater uh, content uh, on the inorganic, inorganic uh, item uh, because uh, the wastewater still contain very high potent, uh, potassium. So it's uh, very good for other purpose. This is a uh, MBR. We uh, mainly, the MBR mainly uh, eliminate the suspended solid from this uh, wastewater uh, before we enter to this uh, RO system. The RO system is uh, further uh, separate the water into uh, process uh, reverse osmosis water and uh, the concentrate uh, juice. The concentrate uh, water from this uh, from this uh, machine, uh, our system have uh, maybe three times uh, uh, concentrate of uh, this potassium we can find. So uh, I will show you another uh, whole video uh, that which uh, we are treating uh, others uh, biomass. Uh, excuse me, um, Mr. Chua. I think maybe we may not have enough time. Oh, okay, I will yeah. admit this uh, video because uh, the request, uh, the process is almost the same. So uh, in this, I will conclude my uh, presentation. Yeah, I pass the floor to uh, Dr. Sudes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, your presentation.